Good morning guys, Rachel with Back to Good here and today is a bright and beautiful Monday morning. So today we started out our day, Sean and I, we went up to the post office and we tried to get our, see if our address was verified yet so that we could get our driver's license and our voter IDs and all that good stuff. But unfortunately, uh, they're unable to verify our address yet, so we are still waiting. We're going to stick with what we have control over, which is helping out our neighbors, Gary and Mary at Junk to Gems Homestead. We are working on clearing their land while we're here, and on days when we're waiting for things to be shipped to us to work on the next project, we're continuing to help them clear some brush. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. We've got a ton of brush right here. This is where, right on the other side of here, this is where Gary and Mary have been working, and they are working their way towards us so we can clear all this debris out. And the reason that we're going to be doing that is because our dog Linus, who is sitting over there watching me, <laughs> he needs a place to run. So we are going to make him a fenced-in little dog run area here so that he can get off the leash and um, come outside more and hang out with me without having to be on a leash. So we are going to finish clearing all this out, plus it helps keep the snakes away. And we're going to make it look beautiful just like in their yard over by where their living space is. And park it all out, clear all the vines down, rake up all the debris, and Mary comes through with her fancy little push weed whacker and mows down the vines that are at the ground level and makes it nice and safe for us to walk through here without the worry of running into a little slithery snake. So, let's get to work. We're going to clear some more brush and vines. Hope you're having a great day. Holy cow, guys, Gary's bringing me mail. Look at this. What in the world? Mail call. A gorilla cart carrying a gorilla cart? Are you kidding me? It's a gorilla cart delivering a gorilla cart. <laughs> We're going to have to set you guys down for this.
thought it was only seven. Holy cow. Look at this. Gary brought me a present. It arrived in the mail from a very special viewer. She knows who she is. Yeah. Add that to your list. Right. Let's make tech number 49. Well, thank you, Gary, for delivering my mail. That's awesome. I can't wait to dig into that. Thank you. If you need something, I think it's just a couple of small wrenches and it goes together pretty fast. All right. Well, look at what we got behind us here, guys, because we sure can use it. Yeah. Got the driveway filled with a bunch of debris already, so we're uh, working on clearing that area over there, and we can see through now. We just got a little more, so we're going to load this cart up with all that junk, and we're going to cart it off. And soon we'll be able to have a train. <laughs> I know, right? I want to get a go electric golf cart so we can fit the whole fam on it. Modern day clamping. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Gary needs a break after delivering that. Holy cow. A 10 cubic foot poly dump cart. I am telling you, this thing is huge. So, yeah, that's amazing. Thank you very much. This is going to be, what they say, a game changer. Well, I think we're done for the day. We've got a lot cleared out in that area by that tree. And Gary and Mary, well, Gary brought the chainsaw over and he went to town. So Mary and I were carting off stuff. She's got a bunch of piles on her side and I got a bunch of piles on my side. And we cleared that huge area out today. So that is amazing. The kids came out today and raked up some more on that side. And uh, I need to take those piles and put them over here in the driveway. Because if you look real hard, you see something pretty interesting sitting over there that's going to help move that stuff out of the way. So we're going to be back very soon with that. I am waiting for Sean to get home from work. And he's going to help me put that thing together so that maybe tomorrow morning, I don't know that I'm going to do it tonight because I need to go make dinner, but tomorrow morning I'll have a way to move all that stuff out of there. Very exciting. Oh goodness, I'm so excited. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. So I'm going to go take a break while I wait for Sean to get home and we'll talk to you soon.